my name is Fareed Khan. I'm a storage architect with Hewlett Packard Enterprise, and today I'm joined by... I'm Izat Day. I'm a systems engineering manager for Covisti in the UK. Thank you for joining us, Izat, today. Um, today we're going to talk about your a new Hewlett Packard Enterprise Nimble DHCI platform and how you can run your mission critical applications on those. And also we're going to talk about the Covisti platform and what it runs on from Hewlett, uh, Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Um, so Isa, talk to me a little bit about um, Cohesity and what it is. Sure. So Cohesity is a data management platform. Okay. So it's a platform that can actually span both the, uh, the data center and also the cloud and also uh, your remote offices and branch offices. Great. And the, uh, the, the benefit of using Cohesity is around simplification of this business critical area, which is very typically deployed in a lot of customer uh, situations. Excellent. Thank you for that. So now since we're talking about the data platform, and let's talk about what it runs on, right? Mm -hmm. So um, for your robot deployments, we have the Hewlett Packard Enterprise uh, DL360 servers you can use. Right? That's right. For your typical data center deployments, you got your DL380 and the Apollo R2200 servers. And for your larger deployments, maybe even for archiving, you could use the Apollo 4510 servers. So this is what the actual physical platform runs on. But let's, before we go into that, let's talk about your uh, nimble DHCI platform and what it is, right? So typically, uh, the DHCI platform, you will start with at least you know, two or three um, DL360 or DL380 servers. You'll be running them on the store fa fabric M-series switches. And also, in this case, depicted in this picture, we have the nimble all-flash AF40 array. Now, we will be collecting metrics from the vCenter server right into the, D into the DHCI array. We will be collecting data from the ESX servers to the DHCI array as well. And we will be sending this heartbeat, this data, over to InfoSight. Now, what is InfoSight? InfoSight is our machine learning, AI, and predictive analytics r r running in the cloud. So we are gathering data from the full entire stack. We're getting data from your storage, from your networking, and your compute, shooting it over to the cloud. Uh, one other benefit of DHCI is allows you to connect not only your virtual environment, but also your physical servers. In this case, I have a physical Windows server that can also talk to the Nimble Array as well, and also have a Linux physical server that can also talk to the Nimble Array as well. So this is my typical environment running in a DHCI. And like anyone else out there, I will be doing my backup and recovery, might have a need for a test dev environment as well, and I might have need for analytics that I want to do. And of course, everyone has these file shares, NAS, for example, home drives, you know, uh, departmental drives, and so on and so forth. So, Izat, uh, talk to me about the Cohesity Data Platform. How can it help me mm -hmm. uh, do my backup, my test dev, my analytics, and my NAS? As you know, everything is a silo use case today. How can I consolidate all that and take advantage of it? Absolutely. So, you know, like you said, a lot of innovation has, has been around this area and the mission critical environment. Today, these are very siloed, they're very inefficient, and they're also uh, very difficult to manage. And uh, we refer to them as storing dark data because there's no single pane of glass. So with, with Cohesity, using one of the certified nodes, we can actually implement a scale-out cluster within a data center. It doesn't have to be, can be in the cloud as well. Um, and we have the ability to serve SMB, NFS, and S3 protocols from this data platform as well. And so that gives us the ability to do some really cool stuff around simplifying this for a lot of customers. Excellent. So now let's talk about backup, for instance. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I'm using some third-party backup software. Yep. I'm talking to a backup repository. Yep. So how can Data Platform help me there? Sure. So when it comes to backup and recovery, there's been very little innovation for the past 15 years or so. Um, and we have this situation where we're using legacy software, which is very expensive. Uh, lots of uh, master and media servers, and lots of target storage as well. Now, the first thing that we can do to help simplify this is that actually we can give customers a consolidated target that is scalable. So as you add nodes, you can scale performance and capacity. 
and this gives existing legacy backup software the ability to communicate and to store its data on the CoHST data platform. Excellent. So in this case, folks out there know now I can take out my backup repository and use CoHST for my backup target. Yep. So what if I want to also get rid of my backup software? As you know, yeah. um, it's aging software, it's got support behind it, I got to have an engineer to manage and maintain it. Can I also replace my backup software with CoHST? A absolutely. So, uh, you know, this is again something that we hear from customers uh, a great deal. Um, you know, complexity and cost are major factors here and so actually we do have uh, an application called data protect which runs on the Cohesity data platform and what this does is it allows our customers to completely simplify this environment and remove all of the additional silos of, uh, of equipment and to uh, to basically serve backup and recovery straight from the Cohesity uh, platform excellent um, great, so now what about my test dev environment? So what can I do to maybe save some stories there? Yeah, so um, you know, again, all around efficiency and making use of the technology, um, this data is identical to, to this data, as is analytics, for example, and they're all copies of production. So if we have up-to-date copies through backup and recovery, it's already on the platform, surely it makes sense that we actually start to generate these test dev copies straight from Cohesity, and we're using uh, you know, zero copy cloning data, and this is all combined with compression and dedupe as well. Um, so we can actually present these environments to our customers um, very, very quickly, instantaneously. Excellent. Compare that to how it was being done before, it was taking time, people were working on out-of-date copies, we can eliminate that. So I saved on my backup target, I saved yep. on my test dev. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit about analytics, so since you are running that same data in data platform, can I make or take advantage of that data that's sitting in the platform to see maybe I can run some analytics against it? Yep, absolutely. So again, driving efficiencies, we uh, have got the data essentially already on the platform. Yep. We have got compute and we have uh, storage as well. Doesn't it make sense that we actually run those analytics straight on the platform as well and derive insights from there? And so again, we can help simplify the environment uh, by removing that from, from there as well. Excellent, I like that. So I see you also written SMB NFS on the data platform as well. Mm -hmm. I am running file services, home drives, you know, departmental shares and things like that. Can I also run those on the data platform as well? Yeah, so, you know, uh, data growth is obviously exploding. Uh, talk to any analyst, they'll tell you the majority of that growth is coming from unstructured data. Mm -hmm. And unstructured data is very difficult to manage uh, and, and keep control of. So there's, you know, risk and compliance issues there. Um, and this is what we're hearing from our customers. So absolutely, when it comes to departmental shares, uh, home drives, archive stores, even uh, log files, for example, this is the perfect platform which you can scale as you need and grow both performance and capacity in combination with dedupe compression. We can again simplify this completely as well. Excellent, excellent. So I also run my backup um, off site. So I need to send tape off site, right? So maybe once a month, once a week, or whatever, I'd send tape off site. Yep. Or maybe I don't want to use tape in the future anymore. I want to maybe take advantage of cloud. So can I do something with the data platform so I can take advantage of either tape out or maybe even back up to the cloud? Yeah, sure. So, um, so yeah, if customers do want to stay uh, with tape, they can absolutely do that. So we do integrate with tape as well, and we can use that for long-term retention. Mm -hmm. But lots of customers want to start eliminating tape from their environment, and they want to start using the cloud. And so actually we can also take advantage. I mean, we have a lot of integration with the cloud. We can na run natively in the cloud. But for long-term retention, we can absolutely use any public cloud provider or even a private cloud provider, anything that's S3 compatible. Excellent. So let me just wrap it up now. So you got your DHCR environment, right? You got your all-flash nimble array sitting there. You got your virtual service talking to it, your physical service talking to it. We got analytics going to InfoSight for your predictive analytics. You took care of my backup needs. You took care of my test dev analytics and also NAS file share on data platform. We are able to cut tapes out. We're also able to do cloud backup as well. 
In the next video, guys, we're going to talk about backup and recovery a bit more in detail, how we can do storage, fission, snapshots, um, level backups for your virtual and physical environments, and also how you recover them. Isa, thank you for coming, and guys, be sure to watch the next video.